Mary Brooks is very excited about the new Flanders Crossing Bridge in Northwest Portland. It's a very good thing. You know, Portland needs a uh, designated bike and pedestrian paths, designated, where there are no cars, because it's, it's, it's just too dangerous otherwise. So this is gonna be great. The newest bridge for pedestrians and cyclists goes in this weekend. Flanders Crossing will connect Northwest Portland to the Pearl District and stretch 200 feet across I-405. And it's a beast. We've got two 12-wheel trailers that are gonna sit on either end of that bridge. The bridge itself is 355,000 pounds, so it's a big old bridge. Crews have been getting parts of Northwest Portland ready for the installation. For drivers, the work will mean closures and detours starting at 10 Friday night until 5 Monday morning. The stretch of I-405 from Highway 26 to the Fremont Bridge will be closed. The big job has people wondering what it'll take. Just curious as to how it's going to happen. Uh, we see this rig here uh, and with the wheels on it. Uh, that, that's, I, we just can't imagine it being slid out there. To move a bridge across an interstate. We'll have trailers underneath and then two cranes holding the bridge on from the top as well. And it's essentially a, a roll and lift across slowly and carefully across the interstate. Hannah Schaefer with the Portland Bureau of Transportation says the bridge will give Portland residents an easier way to get around town. For Flanders, that connection will be the key route for folks traveling from northwest Portland through the Pearl to downtown and then connecting to other parts of the city. Even though the bridge goes into place this weekend, it won't be ready for use until this spring. Joe Ranieri, KGW News. Isn't that the coolest project? And now you can watch it because Peabot plans to live stream the installation this weekend. You can follow the process on Peabot's Facebook page and Twitter account.